Terry O. Main Real Estate Guide. I'm here on location in an undisclosed part of northern Maine and off grid. Uh, kind of uh, had a little bit of time in between the last time we were here and, and now. Last time we were here, we were doing some groundwork and installing a post to put this pole mounted array in here uh, for solar power. Uh, now the, the system's been up for a couple of months. And according to the owner, working flawlessly, they can't use enough power to, to drain the batteries down. So it's it's doing doing what it was meant to do. Um, we have uh, what we have here is about just just nearly 4,000 watts. It's 30, if you do the math, 3,960 watts of, of rated solar capacity with a Montana rack, which is adjustable, uh, seasonally adjustable uh, with a crank. You can you can change the uh, the angle. It's currently set in the winter position, which is fairly steep uh, for two reasons. One. The sun in the wintertime is lower in, our, in the horizon where we're, we're at in northern Maine. So a steeper angle will, will make your panels produce a bit more power during the, the shorter days that we have here. Also, we get a fair amount of snow here in the wintertime and the steeper angle is also gonna help, uh, help, help shed the snow uh, more readily. Because if the panels were flat, the snow would just pile up and, and stay there. Uh, and that would be a, a bad thing because we get uh, several feet of snow in the winter time, which would be a tremendous amount of weight. So, uh, uh, so if you're looking uh, to uh, to live off grid, uh, I guess uh, one one takeaway from this is it takes a fair amount of solar panels to really produce power uh, to uh, to be able to live comfortably in an off grid situation. If you're looking at you know buying a hundred dollar off grid solar system from uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, don't waste your money. Uh, you know, do it right. Uh, do uh, and uh, put up a you know a good quality rack with some so good quality solar panels and run your run your conduit underground and do it do it right and it'll last a long time. So from here we're going to go inside. I'm going to show you the inverter and the batteries and uh, uh, the, the rest of the system. But uh, suffice it to say, uh, we're we're in a, a off grid location that has a. Uh, basically a house in the woods with a drilled well and septic and electric lights and, uh, uh, and uh, electric outlets and, and, and people have been able to run coffee pots and uh, hair dryers. <laughs> I don't necessarily recommend for an off-grid situation, but it's been, been operating flawlessly. So come on, let's go in the garage. Well, we're inside the garage where we, we've housed the, the electronics. Uh, uh, so we have a, a, a Schneider Electric uh, inverter and charge controller for the system. And it's once programmed, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty much uh, plug and play. And, and really, for the most part, you don't need to do much of anything once everything's up and running. And it's uh, all automated. It's got a auto start circuit for um, the uh, the generator, which in a in a pinch, if you know, say it rains for a week or something, and we've got a lot of cloud cover, you're not going to produce that much solar solar power. So you would have to run a generator uh, during that time. But the system is smart enough to to sense when the batteries need some some uh, some love from uh, from the generator and and start it up and run it till the till it reaches uh, the, the shut off set point and then and then shut shut down. Um, so for for storage, uh, we have uh, these AGM batteries. This is a 48 volt system. Um, and quite a bit of quite a bit of storage in here. Like I mentioned, the uh, the owner of the property has has mentioned that uh, they've you know they've tried on a couple of occasions to turn on all the lights and and use a fair amount of juice to see if they can make make the system uh, trip out, and it's been been working good. So um, so. Uh, Hopefully it'll, it'll continue in that vein, but uh, everything is run in conduit. All the wires are protected, uh, and uh, that's what you should do when you uh, when you do it. If you're going to do it do it right, and, and then you should have a system that's going to work pretty much flawlessly. Uh, there is, as you can see on the side of the uh, the inverter, uh, there's. This, these are uh, for lightning protection uh, in case the system takes a strike. Those are meant to uh, 
to give up their give up the ghost and, and protect the the, the uh, more expensive inverter, uh, and those are replaceable. So, uh, it's, so as long as the lights are blue on, uh, everything's good. So, uh, the property behind me, uh, that's uh, the, the home for this uh, off-grid solar install, the owners of it uh, have been renting the property uh, on Airbnb, and uh, uh, they put out a video a while back there, uh, try it before you buy it. So if you're, you, you have an interest in possibly living off-grid, want to experience what it might be like living in the middle of the North Main Woods, where the stars, you can see stars at night, <laughs> and uh, for and and not hear any traffic, uh, and you you want to experience that, uh, you should give uh, Pete McPhail a call. At what's the number? 800-286-6164. Ask for Pete, and he can set you right up.